211,364 people have tested positive, and that's an increase of 4,649 cases since yesterday. 11,788 people are currently in hospital with the coronavirus, down from 12,688 the previous day. And sadly, of those tested positive for coronavirus, across all settings, 31,241 have now died. That's an increase of 626 fatalities since yesterday. This new figure includes deaths in all settings, not just in hospitals. And we, we have to be realistic that there isn't going to be any dramatic overnight change. We will be very, very cautious as we loosen the restrictions we have, as the data that we're outlining on a daily basis shows we are not out of the woods. Uh, there are still major challenges with this virus. We will be living with this virus uh, for some time to come. And it's therefore important to avoid that second peak that could overwhelm our NHS, uh, that we exit and evolve uh, these restrictions very, very carefully. I would also we, we work very closely with all of the devolved administrations. Uh, they attend the COBRA meetings when some of these matters are discussed. And as far as possible, while each devolved administration has obviously got the freedom to have slightly different approaches, as far as possible, we are all working together uh, to try to have a broadly similar UK approach. Going ahead with it, um, Brexit, in fact, is something that has already happened. We left the European Union at the end of January. We have a transition period that uh, ends at the end of this year. Uh, and uh, we will still be um, uh, ending that transition period on time as planned. And we are still doing whatever planning is necessary uh, to ensure that after that transition period, uh, we can uh, trade normally and function normally as a country.